here we're now going to build a cabinet in a, in a, in a, in a loft. So here we have um, the AutoCAD drawing, which give, which is uh, just been quickly thrown up through the sizes that we've taken on the on-site. So we have a, um, a roof thrust here, and what we want to do is build a cabinet to fill this space here, and that will make a sort of a separation between two rooms because the plan is here, and we can see that here we have a, sh a small room, and we want a, a sort of a wardrobe to fill the space underneath the roof thrust up to the chimney stack so that it will make this room a separate room for closing off this room. So let's see how I go about doing it. You can use your own methods of course to go about doing it but I'll just show you my method and maybe that would be sort of you know an example and sort of be of help. Right then let's start then by seeing how I do this. And this is how I start my project. After I've taken the on-site um, measurements, I do a sketch, a quick sketch in AutoCAD or ProjectCAD, which give me the general sizes of the project. We can see here that we have a, a roof truss, uh, an attic, a chimney stack, and what the objective here is to build a, uh, a cupboard which fits underneath this roof truss. Um, after I've thrown this into AutoCAD, what I do usually is I make a little model in SketchUp. I take the AutoCAD drawing and I put it into SketchUp, and I make this little model here, which is takes about you know it takes about 10 minutes, 15 minutes to make the model from the AutoCAD drawing. SketchUp's pretty good at just quickly modelling uh, 3D spaces, so. Now we know we can get a good idea of what the, what, what the project is all about. And then once that's set up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, go into Polyboard and we start designing furniture. Now here we are in Polyboard. Um, so let's just start a new bit of furniture, a new bit of furniture here. We'll take just a simple cabinet. Um, we're just going to go through the, the basic motions of making this cabinet fit underneath our roof trust, just so you get an idea of how it all works. In fact, this cabinet is pretty simple. Um, what we need to put in is just this square box here. Let's just put in the sizes. We know that underneath the roof trust, if I look back into the AutoCAD drawing, here we have all the sizes. We have 2 meters high and 3 meters, lo three meters wide. So we just go to polyboard and we put it in at 2 meters high and 3 meters wide. 2 meters high, 3 meters wide. And the width, the depth, sorry, would be taken from the plan view because it has to go up against chimney stack 550 millimeters. 550 millimeters. Let's take 550 millimeters. 550 millimeters. And now that is the actual outer size of our wardrobe. We can also see the price here is already at about a hundred euros. Right, and now we have the basic uh, box shape with the right sizes. Let's now um, see what it looks like in 3D. Uh, here we have the 3D box. Uh, let's change the manufacturing method so we've got some different materials on it. Um, let's take the libraries and take our manufacturing method and let's take a, this manufacturing method and that, apply that to the cabinet so it looks with different materials. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to make the, uh, bend the roof, or the roof, top of the furniture, shall we say, to fit underneath the roof truss. That's going to then modify the top of the furniture and give it a slope. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want, we want to bend it, so we're going to put in, click, double click on this line and put in an extra point on the roof uh, top. And we're going to put that at a specific distance from the left. So let's put a specific distance. Let's go back into AutoCAD and see what that distance is. Here we have the distance, it's a 1 meter 60 from the edge of the bit of, from the extremity of the bit of furniture up to this um, point in the roof truss. So go back into polyboard and we just add that dimension here, one meter sixty. That's fine. And 
we said that's okay now we're at 1 meter 60 let's take this point here now this point here has to go down from the, uh, the top the top here at 2 meters it has to go down it has to go down 800 millimeters go back to polyboard and let's take that downwards at 800 millimeters and I just tick it and down it goes 800 millimeters from here to here that looks okay and here is our bit of furniture so look what it does in 3d here okay that's our box and now this should fit underneath our roof trust uh, let's continue designing just do some quick design on this let's put for instance the bottom that's an overlap of a hundred mil um, let's put in the other side as well the bottom give it an overlap of a hundred mil and let's put a plinth in here and add a plinth on the front at 50 mil back and here we go and now we just have to design the way we want it to look inside now let's say we should get to do some quick design here let's put an upright here so we want an upright from the right hand side and we want it at one meter and say here we want a shelf a horizontal separation and we want one and it want a distance from the bottom and we want it at uh, 700 what's so 750 millimeters uh, does, does that look good I think that looks fine that look good yeah um, on this side here let's put in an, a shelf but we want a shelf let's put one shelf in from the bottom and from the bottom we want it a shelf at 400 mil like that we can put a drawer in here we put a let's put a drawer in here w one drawer and we want to draw with all different parts no we don't want f extra front just drawers to the sides and the back and that's a drawer in so what does it look like now open the drawer and that's fine here let's put an upright let's put an upright in the middle this side let's put uh, some drawers let's put three drawers and let's put the same thing different parts in them and this volume here let's put a couple of drawers let's put two drawers and the same thing let's put sides back and the bottom two drawers how does that look? looks okay got plenty of drawers in there now let's put in here let's put uh, say let's put a, a door a double door um, here let's put a, a shelf oh, hang on. Let's put a, we'll put a shelf one shelf uh, no let's say that's I'd like to divide that maybe in two first so we'll get rid of that shelf and before we put a shelf in let's put one upright and in this section only put a shelf because that look better I think look in 3D okay that looks pretty good see how quick it is to just sort of play around with the different volumes I mean you can do this if you do this you can actually do this with a, a customer um, and just show him how he wants it and he can change you can change it on the fly and <coughs> as we go the price is going up oh yes it is so the customer will also know that he keeps adding shelves and drawers his price is going up you can tell him that um, now what about just changing the doors a bit I don't like these doors give it a bit of style let's say that on um, the first door here let's put a style to it um, let's add a style from the library uh, what do we have I think a style here with, with a mahogany frame oh, I don't know what it's really a mahogany frame but let's copy that mahogany frame off the second door uh, sorry let's just select the doors second door copy the structure paste the structure onto this one now let's do the same for the um, <coughs> we do the same for the front drawer I'll paste this structure onto it and we'll go over the other drawers as well because this door here let's paste the structure the second drawer we'll do the same structure and the third drawer 
let's paste this structure and these drawers will do the same first draw, paste the structure and the second draw that is I'm just copying the main structure of the doors onto the drawers and that gives us what? well here we have a bit of furniture now this is quite good for me, I, I, I like this this it's a bit original with a few different colours in it. I like playing bits. I like playing around with different colours and different woods. Okay, let's create this bit of furniture is now ready for manufacturing. Um, let's uh, what I give it uh, to give it you know a bit of life. What I usually do is I can export this bit of furniture into th DXF. I I take a DXF 3D export. And I will throw this into a D DXF file here. Okay, let's go through into the DXF file. This DXF file, I then I can then load it into here into Poly into ProjiCAD, and I have it here. We have ProjiCAD, and this is our in ProjiCAD the the DXF file, 3D DXF file. This 3D DXF file, I can I can now um, save it in a in a file format called 3D Studio file format, and I can sling that into my SketchUp model. So let's uh, here we have the SketchUp model, um, and if I just add the I can just add the um, the bit of furniture now, and here we have a bit of furniture in the SketchUp model just fitting neatly underneath the uh, the roof trust and that gives a good idea for a customer that gives a very good idea of how his, how his building is, is working out you know so we also see that for instance you'll need something in here to fill it fill it in but that gives a you know it gives a good idea it's a good way to to give give the give a customer a very good idea of what it's going to look like once it's finished. So, as usual, if we go back to Polyboard, we have the Polyboard model here, and this model, as usual, is going to give us all our cutting lists, and we're going to have um, <coughs> the prints of the, vol the furniture here, and prints of all the different parts that make it up, including, of course, all the different angles and different boards that we need to make it. Okay, so hope that's been of interest to you, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.